Hi, this is Jennifer with 360 Immersive, and today I have the pleasure of interviewing my friend uh, Jake Burlisle. He is with YMC Incorporated out of Meridian. He's been in the construction business for since 2006. Yes. And today we're here to talk about the use of virtual reality technology um, in support of National Safety Stand Down Week. So. Talk to me a little bit about your day-to-day -day activities and on, on a construction site and what how safety is kind of integrated into your day-to-day -day operations. Well, so I'm a sheet metal worker, so everything's sharp, everything's dangerous. We're going up and down ladders, we have cranes, um, trucks, forklifts, welding. Lo lots of moving pieces and parts. Yeah, very, <laughs> it can be a very dangerous job. So the, the idea of situational awareness, I assume, is something that is... Paramount. Part of every part of your day, right? Yes. How do you guys train for to be situationally aware on a construction site? Uh, it's all on-the-job training. Um, I've had a lot of stitches. <laughs> so you kind of learn how to... Uh, you learn the hard way sometimes. You learn the hard way. Yeah. So I know traditional training methods, uh, how often do you guys get together and talk about traditional safety training? At least once a week, we will, we will all sit down and go over either a hot topic or maybe, you know, if it's really hot outside, we'll discuss water, heat, heat stroke, things like that. If it's oh, cold, absolutely. If it's cold, we'll, we'll go through um, freezing, stuff like that. Okay, environmental factors and how they affect the body and things it, like that? Exactly. Okay, so you mentioned something about cranes. We have some seen some recent accidents with cranes, overhead cranes. Uh, we've been working on some projects dealing with debris zones. Um, I'm curious, how traditionally do people learn about construction site safety or even if you could get specific about crane safety or electrical safety? when you're in sheet metal, but you've still got to be aware of all of these different trades and hazards on a construction site. How do you guys prepare for that type of well, situation? Typically on jobs, uh, you, you can't step foot on a job unless you have an OSHA 10 or an OSHA 30. Um, that's, I think that's a really good idea. Um, and, but a lot of it is on the job training, like, you know, I have journeymen and apprentices and, and you know, I'll really keep an eye on the apprentices, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm con constantly t telling, teaching them, you know, don't get underneath the load, watch, watch what everybody else is doing. Yeah. Do you see the use of, so, so you've got to demo some of our apps today. Mm -hmm. Do you think, what, how do you think virtual reality, these, these small micro training sessions might be able to be incorporated into even on the job training? Like, how, how do you see that happening? Safety can be boring. I've taken an OSHA 10 and it was awful. I couldn't stay awake. And then I've done another, another OSHA 10. It was fantastic. I loved it. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of, um, hit or miss based off of maybe the instructor or exactly. how they're getting everybody engaged in the classroom. Yeah. Does it feel like that type of situation, if you could supplement an OSHA 10 course with these mini modules, VR modules, do you think that that would liven up the Absolutely, I think that would be experience? awesome. I would much rather do this than uh, <laughs> have an instructor reading reading all day in front of me. When I'm on a job site, you know, it's not just the guys I'm working with that we need to be safe, it's the whole job site, you know. So if there's if there's a hazard on a job site, it usually gets fixed immediately. So talk a little bit about what you see on the job site when you're interacting with other organizations and other trades related to complacency. It could be something as simple as uh, somebody cut a huge hole in the ground on in the floor, it needs to be covered up. For, for fear of somebody not seeing it and falling exactly. falling through, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, the guy that cut the hole, obviously he knows it's there, but my apprentice or coworker might not know it's there. Well, we don't advocate that virtual reality replaces hands-on simulation yeah. or hands-on training, right? But just supplements it. Yeah. So we were talking about other use cases and content that we can develop in virtual reality. Talk to me about how we might be able to apply that in your case uh, for sheet metal workers or in your industry. D definitely overhead crane 
operations. Um, that's a big deal at our shop. Um, the forklift training was good. Maybe a, a boom truck. Oh, that's do, a good one. We, we use a lot of boom trucks for duct work. Oh, for duct work? Okay. Yep, got it. Well, before I let you get out of here, you got to tell me, is this something that you would be interested in having in your organization? Oh, absolutely. I think that uh, you could learn a lot from it, and uh, I plan on talking to my company about it. Ah, I can't, we can't ask for anything better than that. Thank you, Jake, so much for your time today, and thank you for watching.